And on DSTV Channel 836, this is East Coast Radio. Newswatch. The BN president has expressed its disappointment over the appointment of Dr. Spong Sini Glomo as Deputy Minister of Health. The party says Glomo is unfit for the position as he deteriorated the healthcare system in KZN during his tenure as health MEC. His time in office was rocked by scandals in 2017 when he was called by the South African Human Rights Commission to explain an oncology crisis in the province. President Sol Ramaphosa appointed Glomo on Thursday, moving him up from his position as Health Committee Chairperson in Parliament. DA Spokesperson on Health Rishigan Virana says Glomo's appointment is out of touch. We see that the president, whose ultimate authority it is to appoint ministers and deputy ministers, that there is no commitment to accountability and to ensuring that the best possible people oversee the departments, especially the Department of Health, when we are in the middle of a health pandemic. Instead, he, the president goes on to appoint somebody who lacked in making sure that the patients of KwaZulu-Natal were well taken care of. Actress Connie Ferguson says her late husband Shona was never appreciated enough in the industry. The widow, who yesterday gathered strength to speak at her late husband's memorial service in Johannesburg, says she chooses to celebrate his life and continue his legacy. The actor died from COVID-19-related complications on the 30th of July at the age of 47. Mr. Ferguson was the most underrated actor in this country. As a performer, as an artist, I don't think that we appreciated him enough. I think we're showing appreciation now that he's gone, or we are realizing that we didn't appreciate him enough. But here's what I'm grateful for. I can feel that this angel was loved by many. I can feel that he was revered by many. And where he is now, if you think Ferguson Films is great, know that Ferguson Films is great because that's my husband's legacy. Heavyweight TV producer and Generations creator Mfundi Vundla says Shona came into the industry like a tornado. His achievements we've seen, he was a giant, he was one of the greatest. He still like you quote Shakespeare, he was the greatest Roman of them all. An extreme heat is said to be threatening the Tokyo Summer Olympics, with several sporting events having been rescheduled. Temperatures have soared to as high as 34 degrees Celsius. Temperatures are now at the highest they've been in recent years, while there's also a likelihood of tropical storms due to conditions. For Newswatch, I'm Steve.